हेलो एवरीवन माय सेल्फ प्रशांत त्यागी लीगल इंटर्न फ्रॉम टीम लेक्सस एंड कंपनी आई होप यू ऑल गाइस आर सेफ एंड हेल्दी आई होप यू लाइक माय प्रीवियस वीडियो प्लीज लाइक शेयर सब्सक्राइब आवर चैनल एंड कमेंट ऑन द वीडियोस फॉर क्वेश्चंस एंड क्वेरीज टुडे इन दिस टॉपिक आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द राइट टू प्राइवेसी सो लेट्स स्टार्ट आवर वीडियो प्राइवेसी इज एन अनडिस्प्यूटेड राइट ऑफ एन इंडिविजुअल comprehensively bonded with his or her life privacy becomes matter of controversy when it is mishandled intruded illegitimately by individuals a breach of privacy by oneself is less effective whereas deployed by third party is heinous the disclosure of private information by the third party brings disgrace shame to victims although they are ignorant of even though projected matter is of national interest primarily there is a right to infringement compliant within it in the lights of judicial decisions right to privacy is protected as an important part of life and personal liberty and reached under our constitution in article 21 article 21 provides no person shall deprived of his life or personal liberty except according to procedure established by law so there is no procedure established by law to intrude with one a private space unless if it is done for spying surveillance purpose etc the protection of privacy of data can be read from various laws relating to information technology intellectual property crime cyber crime and contractual abilities the sections the acts they are defined information technology act 2000 indian penal code 1860 in intellectual property laws as cicra 2005 radicals of right to privacy are discussed by international laws also privacy is a fundamental human right recognized by united nations declaration of human rights the international convocation on civil and political rights and in many other international and regional treaties privacy underpins human dignity and other key values such as freedom of association freedom of speech it has one of the most important human rights issues of modern age the object is to study the right to privacy is relatively connection of privacy a breach and it's over its victim in the modern world women are being more vulnerable and targeted by some any ethical dead heads and their lives become miserable shameful by their inappropriate acts now we discuss women's and privacy social media plays a major role in the part of life internet culture and mobile data basis promotes screening of private informations of people connected to it users are projected as an era of marketing things knowing about their interest by taking of an example facebook the point of privacy issues is can be made clearly this particular site encourages users to start an account by providing authentic details moreover the default setting of the site allows friends fa- families etc and almost all users present in the site to have access the basic information provided by a particular user the alteration of the privacy setting offered by the site has to be a done on individual basis like whom to add as a friend or with whom the information has to be disclosed usually when young users make online profiles they do not bother about the privacy and post as such as personal and sensitive information as possible so here's the question comes is the young brigade of social media users aware of such privacy settings and if yes then how much of it is being implemented by them further do they realize the gravity of such privacy issues is that might create trouble for them identity theft pestering online victimization etc are some of the common consequences coming up as a result for posting personal information without checking the privacy settings it has kind of become a common tendency among the youngsters of posting as many pictures as possible to gain attention from peer groups updating relationship status or posting self portrait images is considered a trend india has no specific legislation legislation focusing on data protection 
A few principles of data protection are scattered through IT Act guidelines issued by RBI, TRI, etc. One of the most piece of legislation collected by our data as present is the Information Technology Act. The IT Act makes hacking and tampering with computer source an offense and penalizes unlawful access to data. The data protection law should be equally applicable on the public and the private sector. Today, personal information is not only being held by the government, it is increasingly being held by private players such as telecom companies, banks, etc. This law should be applicable to all natural persons irrespective of their nationality and residence. The Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology has appointed an expert group headed by former Supreme Court Judge B.N. Sri Krishna to draft a data production law. The decision of constitute a group was communicated by UAID to Supreme Court as part of his arguments to the right to privacy case. Under IT Act 2000, Section 66 is applicable and Section 500, 506 and 507 of Indian Penal Code 1860 are applicable. The accused may be punished for a term which may extend to three years and with fine. As per Section 77B of IT Act 2000, the offence will be cognizable and bailable while if Section 500 of Indian Penal Code is applied for the state offence under the case of public servant is non-cognizable and bailable with the permission of the court. Now we discuss the government interfere to the privacy. Introduction of the privacy sometimes initiated by government functionaries too and unique identification authority of India and another for Central Bureau of Investigation 2000, the Central Bureau of Investigation sought access to the huge database compliant by the Unique Identification Authority of India for the purpose of investigation a criminal offence. The Supreme Court, however, said that the UAID was not to transfer any biometric without the consent of the person. The ruling has implications for the government's worst biometric ID scheme, covering access to the benefits, bank accounts and payment of the taxes right groups are concerned personal data could be misused. The authorities want registration to be compulsory. The verdict overturns two previous rulings by the top court which said the privacy was not a fundamental right. The nine judge bench comprising all sitting judges in the Supreme Court was necessarily because one of the earlier rulings made in 1954 was delivered by an eight judge bench. Finally, we discuss the conclusion of the above discussed theory right to privacy. In the midst of the globalization and technical advancement, there is a chance of mishandling of private data even though it is protected with care and diligence. There is no use apologizing post breach problems, so it is need to avert it, prevent it with precaution and foresight. So thank you so much. I hope you like my video. Please like, share, comment on the video. Thank you so much. Stay safe. Stay tuned. Have a nice day.